Hi everybody, Steve from Steve's Makerspace here, and today we are in Robocraft X slash Gamecraft, and there is a huge update. There's seats, there's uh, terrain building pieces, uh, there's just a lot to cover today. Let me just scroll down here and you can see all the things there are to look at and read about and I will have a link to all of this in the video description but there's a ton of stuff here um, so this is in the beta branch right all the way at the end they describe how to access the beta branch but I'll walk you through it really quickly so to access the beta branch go to the Robocraft X right click properties switch over to the betas tab um, we're going to put this freedom is key you can copy that Let's come back over here paste make sure you've got it right hit check code it's going to say yes it's correct now we come up here we go preview and then we can close that and it's going to update right here. And when that finishes updating, we can hit play. So the first thing to notice is that the menu has changed a little bit. There's play games and craft games. Um, there's also a Reddit link and a Discord link, so that's interesting. Uh, let's go into craft games. And I've, when you first go in, all you're gonna see is click here to craft a new game. Um, so let's click on that and see what happens. And as you can see, uh, first thing to notice is that the terrain is completely gone. Uh, except for this, but this is not actually terrain. This is a grass block that they've added to the game. So, um, and it's not huge. You can walk to the end of this grass block pretty quickly. You remember that Leo used to be two blocks high, and now it looks like he's about maybe six blocks high. He's six blocks high now. Uh, except that what they actually did is they decreased the size of the blocks by a third. Um, so it just appears that Leo is bigger, but apparently all the blocks are smaller. So let's take a look at some of these inventory items uh, and see what is new and what's changed. Um, first off, there's a battery that is differently sized. There's a new tire. Uh, there's the pilot seat, um, passenger seat, and the control console. Uh, there's an iron cube. The iron cube is heavyweight conductive metal, which has gotten a little rusty. Uh, there's also a, an iron hemisphere, which is a new block type. The oiled steel cube is now conductive, so they've changed that about it. Um, and then there's a grass block and a, a dirt block. Uh, we also have uh, some trees and some rocks. So let's play a little bit with those. So the grass and the dirt um, can be placed anywhere and it will not fall so that's like the infinitum um, so if I hit E those stay in place whereas if I place anything else um, then those are gonna fall down to the ground now I didn't check to see if a tree is gonna fall let's see yep tree falls so acts just like why does it keep doing that that's very interesting okay there's a white oak tree. So the rocks are scalable, which is nice. Probably make it into a mountain if you really want to. There we go. So pretty cool. I like it. After you've done some building, uh, we can save and quit. And now we can take a screenshot and we can give it a name. We'll say test world. Save and quit. And now if we go back into craft games, you'll see test world down here. And we can uh, add a description here if we want. Now I want to show you something that's kind of interesting. I've got my kinetic art world that I brought in uh, to uh, 
GameCraft, which I'll show you how to do in a minute. But if we go into this, so first off, there's no terrain at all. So I, had, I built a little dirt block, and as you can see, everything falls because it, all of my items were connected to infinitum. And the infinitum is gone. They've taken infinitum out of the game. What they've replaced the infinitum with is the rusted iron, which falls as well. Uh, I wish they had replaced the infinitum with a dirt block or a grass block, but they didn't. So what you're seeing here is me, uh, I've replaced three of the items in this kinetic world with dirt blocks so that they don't fall and then the rest is falling. So I'm going to have to replace all of my uh, infinitum pieces with the dirt blocks. Now the other thing is you might fall. Um, and if you fall, uh, it can, you can fall really far. Um, so I would suggest that you use the command uh, for teleporting. So teleport player absolute zero, 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 and that'll get you back up to where you need to be. Now a little look around the place shows that the motors are not working as well as they used to. And also the uh, motors are not doubling up uh, they're not there's no multiplier effect when you put one motor on top of another anymore I don't know why that is I think that's a problem I think uh, they should uh, that the devs should fix that but I'm going to switch back to uh, Robocraft X for a minute and just show you a couple of things one is the uh, showing you how the game previously worked with uh, multiple motors on top of each other and how there was a multiplier effect uh, and the other thing is how you can place blocks on the terrain in any order, any orientation that you want. But so in GameCraft, you can't place um, a block on the terrain in any orientation because the terrain really isn't terrain, it's grass blocks. So let's go take a look at cars. So we have seats, we can make cars. Yay! Um, so here are some cars that I made. Okay, so if you place a motor, you're gonna see like a one, maybe. If you sc scroll backwards, you see this, which is a wheel that's you turning this way, and then this, which is if you want to have something that's turning back and forth like that. Uh, so, all of these are set like that. Now the thing that I learned, so you want the sun hitting the back of the driver's seat. You can see that this one, you can look at the shadow where the shadow of the car is and see that this is the sun hitting the back here uh, and the same with this. This one, this one is a little harder to tell but you can see the shadow is over here so the back, uh, the sun is hitting the back here. And so if I uh, get into the seat here, I can drive forwards and backwards, scroll out a little bit so you can see what, what's going on. This one I don't have any steering, I'm, I was just testing out uh, how the motors work. Now if you fall off, first you hit E and that just exits your seat, and then you have to hit E again to get back to here. There is one way of building a car with the uh, seat facing the sun and that is that you have to reverse how you put the motor on like that. Now let me go back into this game because this one has steering on it. So here's my car with steering and you can see I've got I'm hitting A and D to go right and left and let me scroll out. There we go. All right, whoa, look out. So if I've got a servo hinge and I place it like this, and both of these have the same um, setting on them, uh, but this one is upside down basically. And if I hit D, you can see they are going in opposite directions. 
and it's the one that's right here that is moving the way that I want it to move. So when you place your servo hinge, you want the black facing up with the plus, uh, not the silver. So you want to rotate, uh, use the roller ball on your mouse to rotate uh, until it gets into that position. So the other thing while I'm here, I'm gonna just going to go back and forth and you can see uh, if, I, if you look at the motors that there is no cumulative effect. Uh, even though both of these motors are set exactly the same way, uh, only one of them is moving. Uh, this section talks about uh, seats. If you have two seats on a vehicle, they're going to uh, interact the same way that have using two levers works, where um, they kind of counteract each other, I guess. So if you have two seats on one vehicle doing two different things, you have to separate them uh, completely with uh, non-conductive parts. So the other thing is um, tank steering. I would really like to be able to do tank steering. Um, now you can't control a lever with the seat directly. You can place levers in front of a seat and uh, control them with your mouse, but you can't just use uh, your keyboard, number pad, whatever to control the levers. So what I try to do for tank steering um, is I set this to sprint which is the control key and this one is set to jump with it, it is the spacebar key. Uh, so let me show you what happens with that. So here and I'll scroll out I'm hitting the control key and so I'm turning to the right and I'm gonna, I can't back up though. Uh, so let me just start over because I've got a very limited space here. And now I'll hit the spacebar key and I'm turning to the left. But again, I can't back up. That's a problem. So I figured, okay, uh, well let's put two motors, right? So I've got the, the sprint and the jump and then these are just set like a regular car. So I figured I would at least be able to back up, but of course the problem that I've already described is that um, the two motors aren't adding to each other. Right now I'm trying to back up, nothing is happening. There is also one way of doing tank steering, but the, it is very confusing. Uh, so here I'm hitting W and A, and now I'm going to hit S and D. Now I'm hitting, okay, now I'm hitting A and S, and now W and D. And the way I'm accomplishing that is that uh, these two I've got going uh, right and left using A and D, and these two I've got using uh, W and S. So you could do tank steering, but it's extremely unintuitive figuring out how to drive the thing. So here's the tank that I showed off in my last uh, Robocraft X video. So I added a, a steering so I can um, do one going up or no that goes down. There we go. And let me just for a second turn up the volume. So I think you can hear that now. It is quite noisy and it doesn't stop. Um, I don't know why that is, but I would like it to stop. So now I can use the tank steering. We'll go forwards and forwards. And I don't think, is anything happening? So again, the motors are not as good as they used to be. Let me try this. Okay, I'm going backwards very slowly, but uh, you know, this method of steering a tank is not super awesome because um, I've still got to zoom in to get to be able to control this. Even if my motors were working properly and you know, I can't see where I'm going. If I zoom out so that I can see where I'm going, I can't control it. 
Uh, I, I sort of can, but it's difficult. We gotta come up with a solution because we can't do tank steering in this setup. Um, I don't know how to fix it, but please, devs, help. <laughs> now, uh, I want to talk about placing blocks a little bit. And this is, isn't specific to this update, but it makes sense that when I'm placing the block that it would spread out kind of perpendicular to my character, um, to the way my character is facing. I think that's good, but then if I then try to place a block next to that, why does it do this? Why don't, why don't I get more of, of this? It seems like that would be preferable. Um, so it's the same thing if I'm up here, I can place like this. That makes sense to me. If I try to place next to that, it goes this way. I mean, I know I can do this and then unclick and then do this, but I don't know. It, it just seems odd, the order of operations here. The other thing, deleting blocks, I'm gonna delete that block. That is really far away to be able to delete block. I'm trying to deal with something here and I'm deleting this over here and then, oops, I just deleted something on that tank way over there. And I might not notice that I deleted something on that tank until later when the tank doesn't work properly. The same goes for the uh, controls, uh, changing the settings. You can change them from way far across the map. Uh, I don't think that's a good idea. I think um, that the deleting and the changing of the controls should be at the same limit as where you place blocks. Now let's talk about how to transfer files from Robocraft X into Gamecraft. So now we want to take, let's say, the Strand Beast and put it, uh, convert it into a, a Gamecraft file. So here's the uh, Gamecraft, Gamecraft preview uh, folder and go into the games and now you see I have games 0, 1, 2, 3. So I can just copy this entire folder, do a paste, it's going to call it a copy. Now I'm going to change this to a 4. We'll go into that. So I've got my backup file for the Strand Beast. I can take that, copy it, paste it over here into the Gamecraft. Now I need to delete this file, change this to a GC, hit enter, yes, I'm sure I want to change it. Ah, there it is. I don't know why I had to go in and then come back out. Okay, so I have two test worlds. This second one is going to be the Strand Beast. I could edit it, and there we go, Strand Beast. Now I could um, hit escape to exit, um, save and quit, retake the screenshot. We'll just do that for now. We'll call it Strand Beast, save and quit. And now I can go back and just craft games and I see Strand Beast. There we go. Now I suggested to the devs uh, on the Discord that they create a uh, channel just for landscape sharing so that somebody could build a landscape on which other people could build on. Uh, and they did that. So uh, very nice of them. So here's a place where you can come if you want to build a landscape or look for a landscape to use uh, in order to build on. <clears throat> and of course there's game sharing and so people are now uh, starting to share their uh, Gamecraft files where they used to just share their um, Robocraft X files.
So different sized uh, wheels and motors are going to be coming soon. And also coming is this uh, ability to have colored objects. Uh, so it looks like there are different meshes maybe and different colors. It looks like these are colored when you place the parts. Like you select that you want to place a red part. Um, I don't think I like that as much as just having a painting tool, but it'll be nice to have painted parts. Good. And another reminder that uh, the game is free to download right now, and if you have it in your inventory, um, then it's going to be free forever. You get to keep it. They are going to go up to $5 at the end of October, um, and then still $5 is reasonable for this game, uh, but eventually they'll probably go up to 20 bucks so get the game now if you haven't gotten it already so that's going to do it for this episode um i expect a lot of comments from the community in this on this video uh you know what do you think gamecraft should be like what do you think the devs need to do okay so i'm gonna wrap it up um i think this is promising i know the dev said they're aware that they're breaking a lot of our games um, and they're sorry I think but uh, they tried to put in all the things that are going to break our games all at once give us a big bath of breakage uh, so that down the line um, they're not breaking our games anymore uh, so Try to be forgiving. I'm, I've got to practice that myself. But give me some comments. Uh, I'd love to hear what you think of uh, GameCraft and what you're doing. Uh, go join my Discord. Uh, go check out GameCraft, uh, RoboCraft X Discord. If you like this video, give me a like. Consider subscribing to my channel. And as always, thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye now. Steve's Makerspace.